Hello guys, I am Rashin Ramakhan. Today I am here to explain you the MATLAB, the simple speech recognition system using MATLAB and the neural network. So, it is done using linear predictive coding. So, the program I have written will be using 3.m files. So first one is normalized LPC dot n. This is basically to get the training samples for the neural network. So here you can see the training samples will be stored in the variables x, x and y, and those variables will be stored in the LPC data dot file. So when I run this program. So it will ask to record your voice. So let, let me record that. One. So it will ask to enter the number that you have just told. Two. Three. So this is basically to train the neural network that we are giving our voice as the voice command and it should recognize it as 1 and similarly if we we told 2 we should recognize it as 2 so these are all training samples so uh, one notification in this program is when you say 0 0 instead of giving it as 0 we should give, a, give it as 10 because I have used these numbers as the index in my program, so if we give zero, as uh, as you, you all know, MATLAB does not contain index zero. It will start from one. So instead of zero, we should give it as ten. That is the only notification in this program. So rest of them are all the same. So in this program, we will be collecting thirty samples at a time. Means uh, it will ask you to uh, record your voice for the 30 time for 30 time so each number is going to repeat for thrice 0 to 9 each number will, will be repeated for thrice uh, and uh, another thing is that you should not give one number more time more times so let us say if you record 1 for the 10 time and 2 for just once and 3 for just once so that the training will not be balanced and it will not be more accurate prediction also global minimum will not be reached while training the neural network so it is it's better to have symmetry uh, while collecting the training samples so uh, when you run this program we are going to get 30 training samples but it is not sufficient to train the neural network the prediction will not be accurate. So what we will do is these variables will be stored in x and y. After completion of this, uh, this will be 30 cross 228, and y y will also be a 30 cross uh, uh, one one matrix. Then mm, so we will be copying those variables into a bigger database called normalize norm lpc database dot map file here you can see k and l i have already given 180 training samples k and l so we will be accumulating those uh, x and y into k so that is simple load this lpc lpc method um, sorry lpc data dot map file x and y will be stored similarly load this also load this normalized lpc dot base dot file next next thing is initially k will not contain anything so uh, where is from index where is from 1 to 30 and all the columns you can give it as x ok similarly l will also 
change we can assign y to l this is for first time you run the normalized lpc.m file next time you run one more thing is that after changing these values we have to save those variables save in the same file this is a simple command save and the file name and the variables we should be stored that is k and l right so after doing this again you should run this program normalize for the next 30 training samples ok again you should uh, follow the same procedure in this only change will be already 30 samples will be there in the key so index will vary from 31 to 60 and all the columns equal to that x which you have obtained by running it, it for the second time Similarly, L will be changed. L can be changed. So, so at least 150 samples should be required to train the neural network to get an accurate pre prediction. Okay. After that, this is the program to train the network. So here you can see normalized LPC database .mat file will be uh, will taken into account in this program. So it will be, uh, basically use the training samples for the network. And while you run this program, you can see here. So here you can see in iteration you can see. So the network is being trained. So after that. The final will be the prediction, prediction program. The theory part I have explained already. You can go through that. And after you run this program, here it will ask to record your voice. And uh, you can as well see the simulation. Okay, thank you. I hope you understood the program. At all, um, you feel any better way, the suggestions are always welcome. Thank you. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, six, six, seven. Three, two, one, zero, nine, nine.